newsletters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX like we always do. And as you can see, it uh, looks like it's completing some type of a pretty serious pattern up here is what it's looking at. And if we take a look at the FTSE, uh, it's not only be uh, it's screaming that it's uh, hit some type of a major top there with that ABCD pattern. Uh, remember, we had the ABCD pattern come in on the E-mini S&P at the level of uh, 29.25, we got to 29.23 and a quarter, and then we broke uh, 30 handles. That probably signifies that that was that three drive pattern that we were probably looking at. So anyway, uh, keep an eye on that. that. That could be a very interesting one. We do have Norm Winsky will be our guest here at the half hour. Uh, he's going to be talking to us about the things that are coming up over the weekend, and we have a, a full moon tomorrow. And I can tell you the full moon here in the desert is just absolutely like daylight, folks. You could read a book out there. It's so bright. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, if it has any effect on any of these markets or not. That's the main thing. We have something really big going on today, folks, that we talked about yesterday. And uh, I, sp I spoke about it on uh, Tom O'Brien's uh, segment yesterday, and that is this dollar index. Uh, we've now poked our head above that 97 level. Uh, we've been waiting for that to have happen this week, and we did get above 97. I believe we're trading at 97.05 right now. Uh, that sets up a, a attempt at this uh, double top up here. And if we get above 97.80, uh, this is going to be really bad news for the euro because that means it's probably going to be breaking down below that 111. We're trading around 112.40 right now. Uh, in the euro. Uh, so uh, it's going to be quite interesting. Now, tomorrow there will be foreign exchange trading across the world. Um, it'll be light, but there will be trading on Friday because many, many, there are a lot of non Christian folks in the world, so they still do uh, trading during that time. I will not be watching anything. I am going to take two days off and we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's just uh, watch this US dollar index, folks. It's just absolutely. Um, uh, really set up to go. And I'm not going to discuss gold anymore, folks. Monday's the day. We look at it Monday, see what it does. What I did was I put a stop in at 1282, uh, yeah, 1281. And uh, if it gets above there, I just don't want to, I just don't want to get involved with the, uh, the emotionalism that I've got into this darn gone gold trade. I got more emails about this and I did birthday cards, which I got two of those. Anyway, um, I, I really did, you know, I, I, the problem with the gold is it looks so perfect. And believe me, when these perfect trades fail, but they've really failed badly. So uh, I'm just showing you the pattern that I'm looking at. I showed you examples yesterday um, of how they worked. Uh, I didn't show any examples of uh, how they don't work because I couldn't find any very quickly. So uh, we'll watch this gold here on Monday. The silver still holding up relatively well. Of course, that could change at any moment. And platinum is still holding up uh, relatively well also. So those are all lining up pretty good. But uh, we're going to have a really big week coming in here with the, uh, with the currencies, folks. We've got this euro set up after that 10-day rally that virtually went nowhere. Uh, you know, it only got as high as uh, 113.20. Uh, We've already broken almost 100 pips from that in one day. So um, we'll, we're going to really see some fireworks coming in next week. <laughs> it's not until July. I have the same birthday as um, Ralph Elliott, uh, the Elliott guy um, from the Elliott Wave, July 28th. Anyway, um, uh, let's move on here and uh, talk about a couple other things that we'd like to talk about. Uh, one of the trades that we mentioned yesterday was this trade in, I think I did it on the Tom O'Brien show. I don't think I did it. Yeah, I had to do it in the Tom O'Brien show because it was after the market was closed. This is a, a three-drive pattern here in Qualcomm, folks. And, and the, the, the situation that we were looking at in Qualcomm 
is uh, to have the market not make a new high, which was at 82.42, but to close around 78, between 78 and 77, to close there in the low end of the range. Now, if you do that, uh, this is an ideal situation for a three drive pattern. And the reason for that is if the market gaps down on uh, Monday, you, you've, got a, you've got a big winner. And not only that, but you just put your stop at your break even point in your home free. The problem is, if it gaps up, you know you're going to have to you're going to have to get out of it because that uh, the, that gap uh, island reversal will not have worked. So uh, we'll follow it. You know, I, I didn't I didn't make a recommendation on this. I'm just looking at it as a tape reader. These are the kind of things that I learned, you know, reading the, the Levermore book and uh, the, uh, James Wy uh, Richard Wyckoff's book, and uh, all that stuff is uh, what I tried to pick up some of these patterns. So uh, it has nothing to do with fundamentals. I know that they're 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 making kissy face huggy bear with the uh, apple now, but uh, that's what we're watching here. So let's uh, let's just see what goes on here. Yes, happy Easter to everyone out there, and if you don't celebrate Easter, happy Sunday. So there's a lot of ways out there to meet your creator. So pick one that you like and go for it. That's pretty much uh, the way it ends up, I guess. Okay, now I did want to uh, talk to you folks just a tiny bit more about the silver market. I'm not gonna go any more about the gold and you'll know here the silver is actually holding up extremely well now that might fail at any time and uh, we'd like to see it get down about another 40 cents uh, 50 cents down to that uh, well 40 cents down to that 1450 level but if we only get as low as a 1470 that would be good too because that would be a 61 percent retracement of the low that we made back in November. So that's what I'm expecting silver to get to is 1470. I don't know if it's going to make that last ABCD level there because I respect the Fibonacci numbers come first, the patterns come second. And uh, mathematics precedes geometry. Those were the words of Mr. Albert Einstein, one smart cookie. Platinum does look good. You're right. Uh, let's just get this up here, Terry, and look at it. I don't know where it's trading right now. The last time I saw it, it was around 890, but uh, it's holding up extremely well. And if you look at platinum here uh, really closely, we're, uh, we made a 382 uh, retracement in this on the, on the 15th on uh, Monday. And uh, now we, we've tested it, and it, it looks like it's holding here. But this is a really nice correction, folks, from the 7th down to the 15th, a one-week correction, and then away it goes. And if you think that's important, look to the left. You see the Gartley pattern on the left there that ends on the 28th of March? That's the same pattern, pretty much, of what you're looking at here. And if you looked at the time difference, they were both down five days. I mean, that's doing exactly what it did before. This could be a monster bull market in platinum. So it's acting extremely well. And uh, that's, uh, that's what it looks like. I mean, it really does. I, I have not traded platinum in a long time. I don't plan on doing it. But uh, it's a very interesting pattern. And it trades pretty well, too. It really gives you a pretty good idea of some of the things that you're uh, that you're looking at. So let's uh, keep that in mind. It's always very, always interesting to see these things uh, unfold uh, each day. And remember, these patterns are all based on uh, technical analysis, nothing to do with fundamentals. I really don't understand the fundamentals and I don't profess to understand the fundamentals. But uh, let's pay a few bills for Tom O'Brien and then we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've been asked by one of our listeners to go over the XAU, the Gold Silver Index. Uh, this is one we're watching. If you're doing gold, if you want to do, look at GDX. That's the ETF for the gold miners, I believe. And that's a very similar chart that we have right here. This is the XAU uh, at 73. Uh, it closed at 73.81. Uh, I would actually be buying that today uh, if it closes anywhere near 73. I would, in fact, I would buy it at 73.10 and just risk a, a, a dollar because it's either going to work right away or it's not. Uh, you've got a double ABCD pattern there at 73. You've got a 382 retracement there with a Gartley. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a pretty good one, so keep a close eye on it. I, I don't think it's opened yet, but it should be uh, maybe just a tad lower because of the fact that the uh, uh, you know, the uh, the gold is very slightly lower, but, you know, virtually nothing. We've got a big day coming in here on Monday. That's where that head and shoulders pattern in the gold ends up at uh, April 22nd. And, of course, we have the full moon tomorrow, so uh, no trading tomorrow. They'll be trading in some of these things, of course, not this gold-silver index, but Forex will be trading and some metals will be trading tomorrow uh, worldwide and, along, and probably some grains also, but we're not involved with that, so it's not really... Uh, a whole lot of things that you want to uh, worry too much about. Okay, uh, one other thing that uh, about this chart that's really important is if you'll notice that point D there that comes in just at the $73 a share level in the, uh, the gold-silver index, that's the old high that we made in January. We backed off to a 382 retracement, and bada-boom, bada-bing, away we went to the upside. Folks, this is really a bullish pattern. It might fail, but golly gee. It's uh, it, it's really bullish. Now remember, it's all technical. It has nothing to do with uh, anything uh, related to that kind of stuff or not. So that's uh, pretty much. 
The XAU can only be traded via options? I don't think so. No. Uh, oh, you know, I don't know that for a fact. I uh, I, I don't know that, uh, Steve. I really don't know that. Uh, I'd have to check that. I don't trade that index. I basically trade the gold, but it's a very bullish pattern. Um, well, I didn't even realize that because I know the banking index that way. You know, you're probably right, Steve. Uh, you know, too bad the master's not here. Tom would know that because uh, he's been uh, in some of these ETFs for these things. But the GDX uh, does trade, you know, so that's a good one. And it has the same pattern. I mean, we looked at this uh, several times, and it does look, uh, you know, very, very interesting. In fact, what we should do, since we've got the time, and I am pretty much worn out from all those things from yesterday, so give me a break here, and let's get the GDX here. And we'll bring it up to let everybody see it and see if that's what we're looking at. Get the daily. Here it is. The Palo Verde trees are in bloom here, folks. And uh, I have a major allergies every year with these darn things for a couple of weeks. Yep, here's the here's the GDX. We're we're doing the same thing. Let's get it up here. I got a lot of a lot of ratios in here from the P and Pesvento index, but you'll see here, there's your ABCD. When you get a little bit lower. You'd like to see it down about another 30, 40 cents down to uh, maybe the uh, 2110 area. Uh, that would complete. Uh, that'd be your first ABCD correction oh, in, a, in a bull market, folks. That, that could be the new bull market, and this is the first correction. So pay attention to this one. Um, the, the key is if it opens higher on Monday, then you'll be looking at something that could be, uh, you know, really, really powerful. So... Uh, watch it. That's all I can say. It's a really nice pattern, and uh, it's for the GDX is the ETF for the gold silver index. So that would be you want to want to trade. Steve, thank you very much for bringing that to my attention, um, because when I do these index charts, uh, I, I don't you know I basically trade the futures. So thanks for bringing that to my attention. I certainly appreciate it. Okay, we've had a question from one of our uh, listeners this morning with all the calls coming in. And uh, we talked a little bit about the slight uh, divergence that we're having in the IWM. I'll get this up and you'll see that uh, we had the same type of thing that the IWM was lagging the, the market uh, quite badly. The leader on this run has been the S&P and the, uh, the NASDAQ. Uh, the Dow Jones and the IWM have been lagging a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. We haven't had a real serious correction here, folks, uh, since we started this December 26th thing. I think we had a three or four day down once, and that was about it. So that's another one. All right. One other question is about the bit, the Bitcoin here. Remember, uh, we were looking at that major bottom. It came in pretty much. We went right up and stopped right at a uh, 1.618 expansion, and now it looks like we possibly could be getting ready to make a, a 382 retracement here uh, down around $4,600 a share. Uh, that will be a real interesting one because that'll be a really clear ABCD at a 382 retracement. And if the market's really bullish, that 4,600 is going to hold. So, uh, you know, just why, I mean, we, I'm just watching this folks. I've never bought it. I don't intend to buy it. I'm just looking at it technically and, um, you know, there'll be a lot of trading in that over the weekend because most of the trading in that Bitcoin, most of the volume happens uh, over the weekend. So we'll we'll wonder about that as we go. Uh, okay, we've got two more minutes to go before the wizard comes on and tells us more about this. Now, I wanted to bring one other chart to your attention, and that is Lulu. Uh, Lulumon, I guess the name of it is. But uh, if you like a three drive to a pattern, and I do, you'll see a three drive bottom there on December 31st, and you've got a mini three drive, uh, as you can see here after that huge gap after some earnings or something, uh, you've got a small three drive pattern, just as nice as could be, five days up in both of them. Both of them are equal expansions. Uh, your risk here uh, is uh, the high has been 70. Five, 74 and a half, so you don't have to risk about $3 on this because if it gets above 75, uh, you would be wrong. So uh, that is a nice little uh, ABCD uh, three drive pattern that uh, sometimes looks pretty good. So we'll see. Yes, the Mueller investigation comes out very soon, and that means that everybody will stop listening to Norm and only listen to the Mueller. You know, I will be so glad when this stuff is over, but I guess it's never going to be over. So I don't listen to it, folks. I can't take it anymore. Uh, I just, uh, I, I just, you know what I do? I watch Frazier 
and I watch BTV where I see the old uh, Quincy and uh, Hunter series and Rockford Files, the ones that I that I really like, and Canon, and uh, oh, I, those are really fun. So we'll see. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll be coming up here for a break here with our friend uh, Norm Winsky here to talk to us about uh, a few of these things. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, Wagon Train was a good one. Rawhide with uh, the 32-year-old uh, Mr. Clint Eastwood. So that was 1960. Can you believe that? My gosh, where does the time go? Holy moly guacamole. You know, that's one of the things that I really do that I enjoy doing, folks, is watching those old series because I used to see those people all around town in Beverly Hills and at the track and stuff like that and got to know some of them. And uh, most of them were just super nice people, just as friendly as could be. And I never did meet Lucille Ball or Desi. I never met either one of those, uh, unfortunately. But uh, uh, the ones that I missed, uh, you know, the, I always wanted to meet Joe DiMaggio, and I never got to meet him, and I never got to meet Sean Connery, and uh, I never got to meet Clint Eastwood. I didn't meet him either. But you know what? They didn't meet me either. <laughs> All right. Yes, I, I met Jamie Lee Curtis when she just got started. She was in a Manic series. No, that was long before me. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for The Wizard. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading in larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then larry's service fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to larry pesavento's fibonacci 24 7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're with Norm Winsky of Astro Trend. Norm, are you with us today? Yes, sir, Larry. Good morning. 
Good morning. I want to wish you a happy Passover, and I'm going to turn the mic over to you and do your magic. Thank you very much. So uh, I was on your show on April 4th, just ahead of the early morning, April 5th new moon. And so we're going to review the things that I told the folks back then, what they'll watch for and see if any of this worked, you know. So one of the things we had on the after the close of the fourth overnight, we had the Moon's North Node in Cancer was uh, making a contra parallel. That's kind of like an opposition to Saturn. And Capricorn, that indicates one should be watching coffee, silver, and, of course, stocks, which is affected by everything. That's the big basket of everything. And so we'll take a look at that. And we also have, the, the for the fourth, we had the new moon was overnight between the fourth and the fifth. And then oh, oh, Friday was, the uh, fifth was a Friday. And so over the weekend, we had a sort of a minor point there for the U.S. So we will be looking at the stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar, and possibly because it's to the U.S. Neptune, possibly oil. And then uh, the night of the Monday, uh, the Tuesday night uh, was uh, the ninth. And uh, Mercury was apihelion. That's when the Mercury is at its farthest point from the sun. And we'll be looking at corn, oats, soybeans, stocks, and wheat. And then the, uh, on the middle midday on the 10th, we had uh, Jupiter in Sagittarius turn in retrograde. And that's for oats and stocks. So we'll take a look at those. So here's your S&P. We had a, uh, the, we had the, looking for about the 4th or the 5th and maybe Monday as a turning point, and there's your green arrows. There's the fifth, bingo, bango, right on the new moon. We made a, a close to the top there. Monday was my maybe a little slightly higher, and then it turned, rolled over, and we went down into a uh, Tuesday, Wednesday bottom with my other two points there. Here's coffee. That was uh, a one day off the high there. My uh, date for the fourth, the four, I'm sorry, the uh, overnight for the fourth, it actually topped on the fourth, and there we go. There's the green arrow. There's my date. There's the top. One day off, a little bit off price, and one day difference. So that worked out pretty nicely for the coffee. Silver, oh, and I'm on page two at the top here, and we here's the silver chart, and you can see it's kind of a, uh, a wash. We had possibly something positive there on the fourth with a possible spike low. But then it kind of went flat for a day or so, which kind of messed up any signal for the new moon, uh, you know, or the other point we had there. So it was kind of a mixed bag. You probably might have made a little bit of money, but then you might have lost money uh, going the other way. Now here's T-bonds, kind of somewhat similar to the silver in that you made a low right on the 5th. And then we had another point there for the 6th. And so that was kind of a wash, you know, plus one, minus one kind of deal. The dollar, on the other hand, was beautiful in that we had a double top there right over the 5th and Friday the 5th and Monday the 8th. And that worked out pretty nicely. We had a bit of a correction there in the dollar for looks like about a week. Euro bottom on the 4th. So we were looking for the new moon for the currencies. And so that was that bottomed uh, on the fourth, but stayed near the low there on the fifth. So you had a chance to buy near the lows and get a bit of a rally in the euro. Here's your now. Here's the kind of a fun one here coming up: the British pound with all the news on the Brexit and like you talk about, Larry, all the fundamentals and the news. Everybody's pulling their hair out. What should you do about the pound? Maybe. Well, let's just pretend that we. Do. We're on a ice, we're on a desert island or something, and we're not getting any news, and all we have is the planets to trade on. Would that work? You know, well, look at the pound. It made its low of the month right on the new moon. So you don't have to look at any of that news. Don't worry about it. That's pretty nice, you know. Look at that. Right on the right on the new moon. Okay, here's the Japanese yen. It also made a low there, a little bit of a short-term low right on the on the fifth. And uh, up, up we went for about four or five days. Here's your gold. And keep the, some of these markets in mind because we're going to have a full moon early t tomorrow morning. And so some of these markets might be right for a, another turn here, you know. And I'll be getting to what's coming up here in, in just a little bit. Here's your gold. Made a low there right on the new moon. 
And, well, actually, the low, the low was the day before, but you're right near the lows there. And then we rallied, had a chance to buy it near the lows. And then we went up for about four or five days for a nice little rally. Here's the crude oil. I mentioned the crude oil was uh, for the uh, takeover the weekend of the 5th. And we were close to the top there on Monday the 8th. And the next day, we made slightly higher high, kind of went sideways, and then lower. All right, now we have the uh, fourth coming up. There's your corn. And uh, let's see, we're topping out here on the right on the fifth on the new moon with the corn. Uh, had a, a point here with Mercury Apihelion on the right around the night of the ninth. And so then uh, that didn't, that really wasn't, uh, I don't know, you wouldn't have lost any money, but on the other hand, you didn't make any money. So it just kind of went sideways, you know. So, but on the other hand, okay, now I usually sell them. I, I track oats. It's in my letter just because it, often oats tracks the planetary stuff so nicely, and it's too bad that it's so thin. And so uh, I don't really recommend you trade the oats, but it's kind of like, you and the Bitcoin there, where <laughs> is some of these thin markets? It's kind of fun to track them anyway, you know, even though if you're not going to trade them. Let's see, I had a huge signal possibly for the oats, right? On the 10th, we had Mercury, which is, has to do with the grains. We had Jupiter, that's oats. In Sagittarius, that's in its own sign, all converging for the 10th of the month. And you can see there we made a top on the new moon, and we made a bo the bottom right there on the 10th. So that worked out just about perfectly for oats. So uh, maybe if you uh, own some horses and you want to know when to buy your oats for the horses, you can use the, <laughs> the planetary indications, all right? But uh, if you don't have to trade oats, probably better not to. All right, here's beans. They worked out pretty well, too. There's your new moon. And here's, uh, again, a, a, they topped out on the new moon, had a pullback one more time up into the tent there when Mercury was uh, at Apihelion, that's uh, when Mercury set its farthest point from the sun, and we made a nice uh, kind of a little bit of a top there for the beans, and there's your wheat. Uh, one day off on the wheat here, uh, off the new moon, we went down and made a low for the tent, Mercury Apihelion, and then we rallied, so it, it did turn there, but it was doing kind of somewhat the opposite of what the beans were doing. All right, here's what's coming up uh, in the uh, coming up immediately right now. So we have to, just this past last night, we had Venus hit Apihelion. That's Venus got to as far this point as it goes around the sun in a 225-day cycle. Which, by the way, Larry, you might know, is 0. 0.617 of the Earth's orbit around the sun. It's pretty That's close correct. to Fibonacci, you know. So here's the markets we want to be looking at with some of these charts I already showed you. And We've got to pay a few will... bills, Norm. We've got a commercial, so come back with us after the commercial, please. Right-o. Norm Winsky of Astrotrend, 877-927-6648. Call in before the lines get blocked. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when 
gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, with Norm Winsky of Astro Trend. Continue, Norm. Thank you, Larry. So I just, before we start looking at the future here, what's happening now in, in the next several days coming up, I just want to mention that setup is very important. If you want to increase your probabilities of making money on these points, then you want to see the market at some extreme. If it's in the middle of its trading channel and going sideways, take a pass. You want to see the market at some extreme, the top of this channel, the bottom of this channel. I just draw simple trend lines and channel lines. It's pretty simple. And by the way, if you're in a trade and you don't know, uh, not sure where to get out, if you draw a simple trend line, uh, that works very well, and as long as you don't break the trend line, then you got nothing to think about. If it breaks your trend line, pull the ripcord, get out. It's that simple. All right, so now let's talk about Venus. Goes around 225 days. That's 618, 617 of the Earth, 365 and a quarter. And Venus is associated with cattle, copper, cottons, and of course stocks is for everything, and sugar and wheat. And then we have tomorrow morning, we have, that's tonight, tomorrow, early tomorrow morning, we have the full moon in Libra. Libra is associated, well, you have your general full moon, and that's, uh, we round up the usual suspects, which are financials, greens, and precious metals. And in Libra, we have sugar and wheat. So there we go. And then we have a small point here for the uh, U.S. Venus, so we want to watch for stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And also after the close tomorrow, that was for a Friday. This is, uh, yeah, that's tonight. And then to also we have uh, another U.S. point there for stocks, T-bonds, dollar. And then next Tuesday night, that'll be the 23rd night, uh, Pluto will turn retrograde. This is one of my top points. And this is, uh, uh, we had Jupiter turn retrograde, and it was kind of mushy for the stock market. But uh that's because Jupiter is a happy planet, and when Jupiter hits you, it's like getting hit by a pillow. When Pluto does something, there, there's a, a couple, of, two or three outer planets that have what I call a hard edge. Jupiter has a soft edge, and so uh, when they do their thing, it's like getting hit like a, by a sledgehammer. You'll 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 definitely know it. And so Pluto's turning retrograde on Tuesday night, plus or minus a day. Watch for change of trend for your coffee. Coffee. Hogs, of course, stocks and T bonds. Okay, this could also indirectly have a connection to gold because the Pluto is connected to the central banks, and so the central banks may be doing something at that time, which tends to affect the uh, gold too. 
So there's your cattle getting to the top of the channel here. <clears throat> and we'll be looking for something to happen here uh, uh, right, right about now. So the cattle rounds up to the top. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little frog in my throat. If cattle uh, rallies up to the top of its channel, uh, then you might be looking at a possible top here. Here's the cotton. I don't know what to do with the cotton. It's kind of come to an apex here. You're going to have to probably wait for some kind of breakout here on the cotton. Uh, the copper looks like it's coming down. And maybe if we get to the a little farther down uh, today, might get you to the bottom of this, the bottom of the support line here. And then you might be looking at a low on the copper. Uh, sugar, uh, there you go. Sugar is getting to the down to support here. At this, uh, looks like about the 2040 level, 2040 and change level. And so if we can pull, get the sugar down just a little more, uh, that might be a good, uh, decent buy there with you got a relatively low risk. If you break the support, you're gone, you're out. Okay, here's the cocoa. It's been kind of in a consolidation. Not real clear what it's doing here, but if we pop up here, up uh, uh, we're actually kind of up against resistance there. And so you might have a possible short there. And if we pull, pull down the next day or so, might be looking at a low. It's kind of congested here. It's not real clear. Hogs are going absolutely sideways. Uh, they're kind of in a long, maybe in a longer term topping pattern. But it's not clear, so probably just take a pass on that. Oh, we gotta. Oh yeah, we gotta wait for the coffee. I'm sorry, the cocoa and the cogs. Uh, to uh, you got more time on these. These uh, you don't even gonna look at until Tuesday. So we, the, you got more time for these to develop. Wait till the Tuesday to take a look at those. The cocoa, hogs, and the bonds. Big point for the bonds also on Tuesday. Okay. So, uh, Larry, we're uh, getting to the end here, where I tell the folks about the free stuff. I got free letters, free classes. I've been teaching people how to day trade in 20 minutes. My day trading is really good. You might remember I last showed you my dates back on the 22nd of March, and I had a miracle day that day. Just got lucky. I had generated over 40 handles trading the S&P mini. One contract that was that was 44 handles, I think, and so that was pretty good. So looking forward to hearing from the folks right away before the end of the month, so we can schedule some classes. Uh, my May begins on April 29th, so you need to get a hold of me uh, this coming week, so that I, we can get you booked uh, for the week of the 29th. So looking forward to helping some of your folks, Larry. Does anybody have any questions there in the Tiger Den or? Whatever. Yes, we have one question uh, regarding any any planets that are uh, getting ready for a major retrograde that could affect the Bradley model. Someone's asking that question from the state of Oregon. Yep, that would be Pluto. Pluto okay. will turn retrograde Tuesday night, the 23rd. Thank is it you, a man. planet now? Is it a, it, is it a planet again? Did they finally keep it? Uh, yeah, they, they upgraded the after the New Horizon did the flyby there, and it took pictures of Pluto. They upgraded it back to a planet again. I have another question. Do you done any work like George Bear did on the speed of Mercury? Uh, I don't do too much. I used to look at the speed of the planets, but for the amount of work it, it, re, it required, I didn't see that there was that the results were that good. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, you want to tell the folks, uh, give them your uh, con phone numbers and Skype and everything? So that right, I got that on the screen, but if you're driving in your car or something like that where you can't see, I'm in Naples, Florida here at 239-594-3939. And uh, my Skype has changed um, in Winsky, N-W-I-N-S-K-I, uh -huh. underscore yeah. digit one. <laughs> and my email is nwinsky, N-W-I-N-S-K-I. At embark with a Q in the middle, e m b a r q m a i l dot com. So contact me right away so we can get you in a free class next week. Tell me, say Larry sent me, and you'll get the free stuff. Uh, we of course with the double your money back guarantee rate with Larry. Larry, you can't beat that. You can't beat a double money your back guarantee. Norm, thanks for joining us today, and we'll have you on the next time we come to a. Uh, full moon and that'll be uh, or a new moon that'll be sometime uh, 
When will that? That'll be about. Ooh, that'll be way. Uh, the next one is due yeah. on the fourth of May. Oh, the fourth of May. Is that a Saturday? That's a Saturday. That'll be a oh, new moon. Oh, that's the Kentucky Derby. So try to find me a good horse. I could use a winner this year. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, hey, Norm, I don't know if we have, have a... time or not. I can tell you a story about that. I don't know how much time you have. Go ahead. You know, when you hear the music, you know the time is up. And thanks for joining us. So just go right ahead. All right. So back in the, I think it was 1985, I was, uh -oh. uh, I have a... Uh, uh, what's that? It, it, the music's coming, buddy. We'll cover it another time, right. okay? Remember okay. it, and we'll do, we'll, we will cover it another time. No problem. Okay, thanks, Norm. Norm All right, everybody, have a great chance. holiday weekend. Thanks a lot. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're back winding up the show Friday. Have a wonderful holiday being good Friday. Uh, we're going to see some big things in the currencies over the weekend, I believe. We're hanging on to the euro for our dear life. They be very, very close to breaking out on the U.S. dollar to the upside. It might happen over the weekend, either tomorrow where they'll be doing forex trading in other parts of the world, or it could happen Sunday night. It might not even happen at all. So uh, we'll be watching it very, very closely. It will have big ramifications on a lot of different markets if the dollar starts to shrink, strengthen a lot. So because uh, a lot of people don't think it can, and that's usually when it does its thing. So pay attention to that. Uh, 
we're, we'll be watching it very, very closely. We got the golds rallied here about four bucks, and that's about it. The crude's backing off a little bit. Anyway, this is pretty much what we're looking at. Folks, it's the holiday season. Try to do something nice for some people that have a whole lot less than you. I mean, this is why we're here, to try to help other people. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be much. Maybe it's just to buy a meal for them or, you know, maybe just buy them a cup of coffee or whatever. Maybe just say hello. But uh, just remember, there's some folks out there that are really hurting. And uh, we hate to see that uh, with anybody, but that's the way life is sometimes. So try to help other people. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing to do that, that's for sure. Oh, we've got a, the noise is going to come up here a little bit. We have one question here about the uh, Microsoft. I don't really have time to cover the softy, but it's still very, very strong uh, up at this 121 level. I believe it's making a three drive to a top pattern, but in fact, I'm not even 100% sure of that either, so we'll pay attention to that. Okay, I think I'm a little bit tired this week, folks. Those uh, long chills with Tom O'Brien late in the afternoon really uh, were fun to do, but boy, they certainly uh, certainly wore the old cowboy out. Listen, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless have a wonderful holiday with your family and friends. And uh, we'll see you on the flip-flop on Monday at the usual time. And we'll check and see what these markets are doing. 